Do you know those weird things you're in in social media where you keep seeing things that you sort of like, but you never see anything different? Well, let's diffuse the root causes because we're all asking about AI bias. This is the root of the fear of AI. Is it going to create havoc or a new world? See, the bias, I'd argue, lies not just in AI, but in ourselves. After all, AI just reflects what our content is, what we're, how we're treating each other, and things that are in society that oftentimes we don't like to see. We're raising this child called AI, and we have time to make it do the right thing. To avoid making mistakes like we did with the early AI algorithms. No one knew. But the next thing you know, everybody's getting really tense, hyperpolarized. Echo chambers are created. I can't even imagine being a teenager now in a world of unfair comparison and social bullying beyond what you have in school. You have all of this that keeps fomenting this basically because the algorithms were based to treat you as an ad unit. And I know this from experience. It's not nice to say, but that's the uncomfortable thing you fear when you talk and all of a sudden you see an ad pop up. And we could do so much more. And AI is permeating so much, but it's not too late. And we got to read the signs. See, we have an idea of what is right, what is truth, and what is wrong. Yet that's a subjective view. Not even countries or regions share that. So I'm going to talk to you about this week, the problems of AI bias, eight examples, becoming aware of it why we need multiple perspectives, and share some belief because I really do have hope that we're going to head into so much a better future with healthcare, with things that are going to make our life easier. But to do that, we actually have to stand up and say what we want from AI. And I'm not talking about just creating free content. So the focus today is so beyond what it's really doing. AI has been around and it's going to be around. And seeing how pervasive AI bias is, that can cause harm, that can keep promoting things like racial injustice, gender bias. These things have happened. And it's not like they're not reflective of our own society. And it's also a challenge for all of us to step up and say, hey, we could actually do something better. Because like the AI question of the week is, what are we doing with bias, which is in definition, a preference or an inclination, especially one that inhibits partial impartial judgment. It's an unfair actor policy, and this is coming out of several examples I'll show you, but there's so much cool stuff being done to re remove this, because what's embedded in there is a cultural context. Different societies have different norms and value. Harmful stereotype in one culture may not be in another. I always talk about how Russians and Americans view each other's countries. It's shaped by historical, political, and cultural context. After all, AI is a worldwide movement. And this is not limited to us in the U.S. There are power dynamics, stereotypes where a majority group controls a minority group. And this doesn't even have to just be racial. There's economic ways this is done. So those stereotypes impact life chances, job opportunities, and social standing. So you can see why bias matters so much to people in AI. And the biggest thing I love about this is you read all these data scientists who never really thought about social impact. I don't mean they didn't care but they believed in data-driven models or the models they were creating, the tech. And all of a sudden, the social impacts really came up. And when I show you the examples, you're really going to be like, wow, this has already been happening. And a lot of these examples are seven or eight years old. And I'm showing you because there's all sorts of things they're doing to create ethical frameworks, to evaluate the impact of stereotypes and biases. And what's really amazing is this is going to bring it down to our society. What we're seeing is a mirror and the things we don't like about bias are things that exist. The content we create, the way we talk with each other in social media. You wonder why AI goes wrong? So instead of complaining and hiding in fear, those impacts are essential and more critical. 